All right, so problem, 18, so problem set 18 is a short one. There's only six questions on here, and I actually added a couple because I um, omitted two questions that were on the actual homework. Um, the last, I think it's the last two questions on the actual homework are questions that are on, that are uh, both in um, either one of the previous homeworks, uh, either problem set 16 or 17. Um, I will include a link to those videos and uh, uh, time, the, the time, uh, for, at, in the videos that that is at, um, if you are confused on those problems, but I will not be covering them in this problem set. I'll just be going over these limit questions. So all of these are as limit as X approaches, uh, infinity, which is, I think, pretty new for our class. Um, and so there's a few rules, uh, for, knowing the limit as x approaches infinity, and it's mostly dependent on the powers. Um, so for number one, in this case, I see that if it's the limit of 3x over 2x plus 1, and I see that the power of the numerator is 1, and the power of the denominator is also 1, and since they have the same power, this limit as I approach 0 is just the um, ratio of the coefficients, so it's just going to be 3 over 2. I see a similar thing down here for number question for question number six. Um, since this has a power of two, and this also has a power of two, um, since they have that same power, it's just the coefficient, so it's six divided by one, or just six. So, for figuring out the limit um, for number two, um, we can actually split this up into two limits where I have this plus this limit because of our limit rules. And we know that the limit uh, as x approaches infinity of sine of x over x equals zero. And the reason that is is obviously because the limit um, sorry, I just blanked. Um, but that equals zero and so does this, and so 0 plus 0 is going to equal 0. So this limit as a whole equals 0. Well, it's only as x approaches infinity. We know as x approaches um, 0, of course, the uh, limit of sine of x over x is 1, right? Let's take a look at our next one. This one's a little ugly. Um, but we can do it. <laughs> um, it won't let me click the pen. Okay. So this time we have the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x minus this square root here. And what we need to do, I know in the homework it suggests that you like quote unquote rationalize the numerator. And that's technically what's happening. We're going to multiply top and bottom of this pretend fraction uh, by the conjugate. Uh, and if you don't remember what a conjugate is, it's when you have a thing like this and you just swap the sign. So this is going to be the same as, so it's going to be 2x minus this. And that's going to be times on top and bottom 2x plus it. Oops. And of course, we kind of foil that, right? Um, and so as we do such, we're going to get 4x, 4x, and I'm going to get 2x times this, and then I get 2x times the negative of that, and those cancel. And then it's just this times this, which is a negative, and it cancels out the square root. And of course, I distributed that negative, so it turns into a plus 2. And now it's all over this square root here, and I'm actually going to write that as a power this time, just so it's a little clearer. Um, we see that the power of this one is 
x squared and the power down here, the highest power is just one. Um, because this power is higher up top, I know that the top of this fraction is going to be um, increasing at a rate faster than the bottom, which means that essentially like this top is going like this, whereas the bottom is going like this. So by dividing those, I'm still going to be going like this, um, which means that we would be approaching infinity, except we have to pay attention to the sign here. This is a negative for with, where we pay attention to the sign of our highest power. So that is a negative. So we're approaching negative infinity. We're going into the negatives much faster than we are being divided by. For number four, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of 3e to the negative 4x squared. Um, and again, this power is increasing and increasing all the way and infinitely, right? So you would expect e to be increasing, except this is a negative power. So what that means is I can rewrite it as this which means my denominator is increasing and increasing and increasing forever while my numerator stays the same, um, which is going to, I believe, approach zero. I think that's still approaching zero. Um, and then number five is the same thing, except it's not a negative exponent, which means that this in itself is approaching infinity because then this function is just getting larger and larger and larger forever. Um, and then that's it. <laughs> This was a pretty quick one. There's not much to it. Um, but limits approaching infinity can be pretty tricky sometimes. So I hope that this was helpful. And thank you for watching. I hope this made sense.